What is electronics? Electronics is the branch of science that deals with study of flow and control of electrons or electricity and the study of their behavior and effects on vacuums, gases, and semiconductors and with devices using such electrons. In 600 BC, happened the discovery of attraction. Tales of Miletus, a Greek philosopher, rubs together lodestone, a natural magnet occurring from mineral magnetite and amber, a fossilized tree resin, and he finds they attracts. The Greeks notes that such rubbed amber could attract light objects such as hair, and if rubbed strongly for a long time, they can even produce a spark. In 1660, the first electrostatic generator, Otto van Gerich, a German scientist, makes the first electrostatic machine that generates static electricity by applying friction. In 1675, Robert Boyle, an English scientist, discovers that electric attraction and repulsion can take place in vacuums. In 1729, Stephen Gray, also an English scientist, classifies materials as conductors and insulators. In the year 1744, a German scientist named Ewald George von Claes and two Dutch scientists, Maschenbroek and Conneus, invents a device called the Leyden jar that stores static electricity between two electrodes and is considered as the first capacitor. On 1750, an American scientist, Benjamin Franklin, proposed that the flow of charges takes place during thunder and lightning. On 1785, Charles de Coulomb, a French physicist, explains the interaction between electrically charged particles. This interaction is known as electrostatic force, and the theory he proposed is later named as Coulomb's law. In 1800s, Alessandro Volta, an Italian physicist, invents the first electric battery known as a galvanic pile. Volta discovered the existence of potential difference and charge flow occurs when there is a potential difference. The terminology of potential difference, voltage, and its unit, volts, is coined after his name. In 1820, magnetism meets electricity. Hans Christian Orsted, a Danish physicist, finds that needle of a compass deflects when kept near a charge carrying conductor and hence lays foundation to electromagnetism. Orsted, the unit of magnetic field strength, is named after him. The same year, Andre Marie Ampere proposes the Ampere's force law, which logically describes the interaction between electricity and magnetism. He studied the force between two charges carrying conductors kept in parallel. This experiment is used to define rate of flow of charge or current, and the unit of current, Ampere, is named after him. Seven years later, George Simon Ohm states that every material has a certain kind of resistance that prevents the flow of charges through them in normal state. This is the reason we need an energy source like a potential difference to make charge flow happen through a conductor. He proposed Ohm's law as current flowing through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the potential difference between two points. Michael Faraday was an English scientist with a little formal education in his childhood who later becomes the most influential contributor of electromagnetism. He proposes the law of electrolysis, which formed the basis of batteries. In 1839, the positive and negative electricity are born. Faraday states that there is only a single kind of electricity appearing in opposite polarities, and he calls them positive and negative. In the year 1876, Alexander Graham Bell invents the first form of telephone. And on the year 1879, Thomas Alba Edison invents the most stable, reliable form of electric bulb. On the year 1887, radio waves arrives in our world. Henry Hertz, a German physicist, proposed methods to transmit and receive electromagnetic waves. From 1880 to 1943, Nikola Tesla worked extensively on developing alternating current, which is much cheaper to produce and to transmit compared to DC. He is the man 
who develop many devices, instruments, me and methods for alternating currents. In 1907, Lee De Forest, American inventor, invents triode or a vacuum tube with three electrodes, which can amplify a weak signal. 1947, at Bell Labs of AT&T, USA, researchers John Bardeen and William Bratain, another researcher at William Shockley, identifies that potential of discovery, and together they invent the, the first bipolar transistor. In 1958, Jack Kilby, an American inventor, while working at Texas Instruments, had a crazy idea to wire together transistors, resistors, and capacitors on the motherboard to a single wafer as a chip and hence born the first integrated circuit. In 1968, Gordon Moore and Robert Noyes joined hands to start a new company in the field of microelectronics and hence born Intel. On the year 1971, Intel invents the world's first microprocessor, named as 4004, which has 2,300 transistors on a single chip. Credit of this invention goes to Ted Hope, who proposed the idea of coming up with a universal processor that can be customized by the user according to his requirements. Before this company produced dedicated IC for each and every application requirement, and this paved the way to production of 8080, 8085, Pentium series, etc., up to the present I series. 1975, the first personal computer and the birth of Microsoft. Altair 8800, made by using Intel 8080 processor, was made by an American electronics company named MITS started in 1969 by an American engineer, Ed Roberts, and famous scientific author, Forrest Mead. Two young guys, Bill Gates and Paul Allen, saw these ads in popular electronics and they reached MITS to write software for Alter using basic language and hence born Alter Basic, a new product and Microsoft, a new company by Bill Gates and Paul Allen. In 1976, Steve Jobs joined hands with friend and electrical engineer Steve Wozniak to build personal computers in bulk and sell it to households. Wozniak will handle manufacturing and Jobs will sell the computer. That was the deal. Apple One was born, which is handmade by Steve Wozniak. In 1976 to 1978, the first 16-bit microprocessor from Intel and the first microcontroller. Intel launches world's first 16-bit microprocessor named 8086. Intel introduces its first microcontroller as Intel 8048 with a RAM and ROM added along with processor on a single chip. From the introduction of microcontrollers, personal computers, and softwares, countless developments and advancements had happened all across the world in various industries. We must say it was even beyond imagination of science fiction authors. And so, the period of technology revolution has begun.